video we're going to be talking about parasites and parasite infections in humans. Parasites live in other host organisms and they depend on them for survival. Without living in a host, a parasite can't survive, so for this reason, the parasite rarely kills its host but it can spread diseases. In this video I'm going to talk about different types of parasites, their diagnosis and treatment. So there are three types of human parasites. The first one is called a protozoa. So these are single cell organisms and they can multiply in humans. They can spread through contaminated food and water, person to person contact and insect bites. An example of a protozoa is Plasmodium malariae, which causes the malaria infection. Helminths are a second type of parasite which affect humans. They are known as parasitic worms and they often reside in a person's digestive tract. Even though they can't multiply or divide, they can cause severe symptoms. Eventually they pass through a person's stool. An example of a helminth is the hookworm parasite. Ectoparasites are a third type of parasites which affect humans. They are small organisms that live outside on the body and these include ticks and fleas. Key symptoms which occur in humans when they, when they are affected by parasites include skin bumps, abdominal pain, weight loss, increased appetite, disturbed sleep, diarrhea, vomiting, weakness and fatigue, fever and allergies. Sometimes parasitic infections can be without any symptoms or the symptoms only appear after a certain period of time. To diagnose a parasite, doctors usually need to perform various tests but they must also know your current medical conditions and your travel history in addition to your symptoms. The first thing a doctor could do is a blood test and this could indicate um, and this could indicate antibodies or parasite antigens. Fecal exams or stool samples are done whereby usually three samples of stools are taken on different days and they are exam examined for parasites or parasite eggs. An endoscopy is where a thin tube is inserted through the mouth into the intestines to check for any parasites. A colonoscopy is an alternative. Um, this is where a tube is inserted through the rectum into the intestines in order to locate parasites. There are various medications available to treat parasites. These medications can either be to kill the parasite or it, or it could be used to treat the symptoms associated with parasite infection. I've included a list of common medications which can be prescribed, but as I said, the indication depends on what, what type of parasite is present. Some key tips for prevention of parasite infections include using insect repellent, ensuring that you are only eating cooked foods whereby any meats are cooked thoroughly, protective clothing, clean water, use of mosquito spray, drinking only clean water from sealed bottles if you are traveling abroad, and practicing safe sex.